going to go ahead and jam this thing into this little opening over here and see if it's going to start. Oh, that was easy. And this chip over here is the brain of it all. Feels like a regular old garage door opener or something, but really cheap. Let's see if it actually takes a picture. There it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and tat a pot. I'm sure everyone got the reference there. Anyway, let's go ahead and take that screw out. I think you already saw this part before. And there's the fresh battery. Let's go ahead and take that out. All right, so looking inside the battery compartment, it doesn't seem like there's anything that can be, you know, done to it so they will come apart. But judging from looking over here, it seems like the packaging is starting to come come apart so it's probably one of these snap happy things where if you get a spudger in there and start rotating it it's just gonna crack right open so let's assume that's how this works and go with that route first okay it's gonna go ahead and jam this thing into this little opening over here and see if it's gonna start oh that was easy yeah that's probably gonna be really easy to open And, you know what, that probably did it, almost. Here. Oh, yeah, that pretty much did it, I think. Alright, so... That probably, yeah, there it goes. Yep, it just opened up right like that, and the little switch fell out. And here's the circuit board. Taking a closer look at the circuit board, we can see that there's the two push buttons that power the two shutter buttons and a 12 megahertz crystal up here. And this is the LED over here that was flashing before in that blue color. And we can also see that there's an antenna over here for the Bluetooth. And this chip over here is the brain of it all. This is the Bluetooth chip over here and it's marked ST17H26. There's not a whole lot of information about this chip out there, but I did find one site that mentioned it, and it was included in part of a Bluetooth anti-loss tracking tag, alarm patch, or whatever. And this guy really didn't find a whole lot of information as, of this as well, but he's gone a little further and found some more information, so I guess I'll include a link in the description so you can take a look at it for yourself. So aside from that, it's a really simple-looking circuit. The back side is just... Um, for hooking up that CR232 battery and this side contains the guts of the actual processing and transmitting of the Bluetooth signal and such. So yeah, that's a pretty simple looking circuit board and that's expected with a device that costs less than three US dollars in a retail shop. So it turns out I was trying to put this back together. I noticed that um, the cover has these pegs or these holes and these pegs and basically they just snap together like that. Then I noticed that the circuit board actually has these little notches in them that align with the pegs so they can be assembled like this. Then, wait, that's not the right way. So they can be assembled like this. Just be put into place like that. Then the power switch can be put into place like that. Then it can be closed up like so. That easily. So yeah, I thought it was pretty clever that they actually have um, those pegs that are put into place so that PCB is held into place without having to use any screws or anything like that. So, yeah, it's a pretty clever design, I would say. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.